What's up guys, I'm live and I want to do a quick reporting for you guys. Old fashioned bank runs have started. Old fashioned bank runs have started. What do I mean by that? Well, if you just look in the past two months, okay, in the past two months, we had had at least four bank runs in the crypto market happening. Um, and at the same time, Peter Schiff's personal bank, um, had a bank run no disrespect to him I, I have a lot of respect for him and, and i think he's just being pressured because he's against the establishment however in the crypto market is real okay let's let's rewind back you know we, we had the stable mark the stable coin uh luna okay bank run then we had celsius bank run which was a crypto lender what they said is if you have let's say bitcoin you deposit it with us and it will lend it to other people and in return we'll give you x percent interest which is 10 times more than the current interest in the old-fashioned banking system okay um then after that we had voyager which which is number three they just filed for bankruptcy chapter 11 and their customers cannot take their money out of the platform next which has happened as well is another crypto lender vault and this one's backed by a lot of big big uh, venture capital and they are freezing customers accounts so simply put guys i just talked about four old-fashioned bank runs that happened in the crypto market um where their assets were basically seized and i say their assets it really wasn't their assets it was you your assets your money your life energy that was seized um because of insolvency and so what happens in this old system doesn't matter you know if, if it's a crypto bank or if it's a, just an old school bank the laws are made to protect the money the rich people and so when, when a company almost goes insolvent they seize their assets to pay off the, you know, basically the lenders, the rich people. And the people that are putting their money into these accounts, their savings, their checkings, okay, um, from what's, what's happening over and over in bank, bankruptcy, of course, is that their assets, the, the depositors' assets are unsecured and they become um, collateral for the creditors and if there's anything left over then it's kicked back to the people's money actually so it's pretty crazy so it's kind of like you know um, your local bank going bankrupt they're seizing your money and then paying off everyone else and then once whatever is left over they'll give you some if there's everything left over that's happens in the real world banking and it's happening in the crypto um, banking sector as well which is mind-boggling okay but you know as a consumer for me when i look at these things for example when i saw celsius i thought to myself you know big connect right they're promising you know it, it, it was like history repeating self but it wasn't exactly the same thing but it was really the same thing okay it, it's just like if you're able to zoom in and just recall history one thing i realize is a lot of people don't remember history they're just like they don't remember like what happened two years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, or better yet, look through history and, and read what has happened with other countries and other empires and stuff like that and see how that relates to today's time. Okay, because it's basically the same thing. Um, so four crypto banks have basically gone belly up. That means that people that had money in them, I mean, they're just screwed. You know, you can't take their money out. Uh, and Unfortunately, there's a lot more of that to come because, you know, in the up market, the crypto market is hyperbolic. It's crazy. It's insane. It doesn't make any logical sense. Uh, it's just like, you know, uh, the market's high on drugs, okay? Because, you know, you have like Deutsche coin and you have these stupid coins that don't have any value, right? They're making so much money. Okay. Um, now, same thing with like NFTs. Now, I believe in NFTs that they're going to be the future. For, for example, for real estate, the title. So you have to eliminate the title company. You can eliminate the insurance. 
but some of this stuff is just way too hyped up. Okay, um, the technology is there; it's going to is just in the infancy stage. It's going to develop, uh, but I don't think the evaluations they're calling for are what it is. Uh, however, I'm a big fan of Bitcoin. You know, I, I don't think personally. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just talking about myself. I'm I'm a Bitcoin believer. The more crashes that I see, the more I become a you know, Bitcoin believer. Further, okay. Uh, yes, it goes. It's going to go up. Yes, it's going to go down. Um, but for me, is no understanding that it's going to go up and down, and understanding that when I should, you know, get into it uh, to make the maximum profit. So. Um, we're having a meltdown in the crypto market with the banks and lenders. And I think that we're going to be having a meltdown with, you know, with the banking sector. And I believe that, you know, um, my personal opinions that, like I said before on YouTube, that Capital One is probably in trouble because, uh, no, not Capital One, uh, Citigroup, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because all the money they got they, they lost in Russia uh, for them leaving there and all the loans and stuff like that and I think that's why Bill Gates not Bill Gates uh, the old the other old guy uh, Bill I forgot his name uh, the, the old man that's made a lot of money in the stock market um, that's why he went in there and bailed them out and bought a lot of their stocks okay but it's not being televised or anything like that so uh, a lot of pain but on the other side there's a lot of opportunity and where's the opportunity for me is you know buying low when when there's massive fear to buy low um i i believe like i said before that bitcoin has a possibility of hitting these two low ranges go to my youtube channel and take a look at it um from seven thousand something to twelve thousand i'll have it on top of my head um but i call that and you know so i'm going to personally start buying you know right around that range and if it hits 15,000 I'll start buying into it buying down okay I've already bought some when it was 50% off now I'm gonna save some of my ammo for a deeper discount so uh, that said um, real estate crash is very close the crypto market crash is happening the stock market crash is happening so uh, crazy stuff Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, click the like button. Uh, let me see if anybody got anything going on. Stick, stink, crypto banks. Yeah, man. Um, that, that that's one of the things, man. My my man said. Uh, I mean, I don't understand like being in crypto and not holding your own keys. The whole reason of getting into real estate is for crypto. Uh, excuse me, guys. And to hold your own keys, like the whole. The only reason that I got into crypto is what I'm trying to say is I is to be a sovereign bank, be a sovereign energy. So I can, whatever energy I produce, I don't have to get it chipped away. Now it goes like this, right? So it does kind of get chipped away, but those are like losses that what I you know that are like phantom losses that are not realized. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, since this has Oh man, um, I mean, margin calls are pretty pretty crazy. But the other thing that that a lot of people don't I don't think understand is that what was going on in the decentralized uh, platforms for uh, lending. Okay, what I mean is like you can you could have gone to for example FTX, put out put down some money like Bitcoin or something or Ethereum. And then you could get something called like magic money, internet magic money, right? You could take that magic money and now go deposit it to a different lender. They'll take that magic money, okay? And now you deposit that and then they'll give you their own coin and you can and recycle the whole process. So it was kind of like, you know, a uh, bunch of different lending happening, but with only one guy's money, okay? It's kind of like uh, fractional reserve in the crypto without regulations. And so, so let me repeat that. Like, for example, you could have got to one of these lenders, throw down some Bitcoin, and they 
they said they're going to give you X percent interest rate, let's say 18 percent interest rate, 12 percent interest rate, 6 percent interest rate, whatever it is. OK. And then they would give you their own coins that that's equal to the amount you threw down. And let's say in this case, it was called the magic Internet money. OK. And let's say you put down two thousand dollars, they'll give you two thousand of Bitcoin. They, they, they give you two thousand dollars of uh their coins, uh, this, in this case, was called the uh, something like uh, magical uh, internet money, and then that two thousand dollars of that magical internet money, you can take it to a different lender that would accept that, and you would put that two thousand dollars down, and then they would, that new lender would, will now give you, let's say, ten percent interest on this magical money, and ten percent interest you're earning here, X percent you're earning in your original, and and now. That second crypto guys are going to uh, lender is going to give you their another coin. Let's let's say it's ABC coin, and now you can take that ABC coin and and do the same thing and give it to another lender, and then that lender will give you their own coins plus give you interest and so on and so on and so on. Right? Uh, it was just getting ridiculous. Uh, so that is that is why I think the market is bleeding and it's going to be bleeding more because let's say there was only one. Uh, one real chair but they were using this real chair virtually as multiple chairs uh and collecting interest on it and, and for a while it was good a lot of people that were doing that they were making money multiple ways with just two thousand dollars they were taking that two thousand dollars and now getting interest on maybe ten thousand dollars because of the magical coins that each lender would produce in exchange for the uh, money they received from the customer okay so pretty funny stuff uh anyways uh and i think this is why the meltdown is happening i think it'll happen a lot more uh, but most people didn't realize that that d5 decentralized lending and even centralized lending like celsius and stuff like that what was really happening all right good good information and yeah marginal calls a lot more to come all right guys thank you for clicking the like button um Always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined. Romy, peace. Real quick, download my free book, Real Estate Investing for Beginners, the ultimate starter guide at myrealestatedojo.com, where I teach you how to find motivated sellers, buy their homes at a deep discount, and then have the seller become your own private bank. Subject to, get it now. One more thing, if you're looking for private one-on-one -on -one help when it comes to real estate investing, then consider joining my academy where you sit down with me one-on-one, -on -one. two, you get monthly coaching, three, you get access to my best-selling courses, four, you get access to my video library, and then the list goes on, for just $97 a month. Join me now at MrNoFluff.com. Lastly, the best six-figure side hustle, bicycle flipping. Want to see how? Here's a behind-the-scenes video of how I did it. Go to TheBestSideHustle.MrNoFluff.com. Now let's get back to the content.